All right, now in this exercise, we are going to count the total lighting point in that floor. I told you in the previous exercise, we are going to start from our first floor. Okay, we are going to do the load analysis of the first floor and do the second floor and third floor and the fourth floor. Okay, including the ground floor because it's going to be fifth floor, but we're going to start from first floor. So let us do the load analysis of this floor. All right. Okay, so come here. The total lighting point that we are going to realize on that floor is what I have gotten here. So the total lighting point in that floor is 222 points. So we're going to segment this into circuits. But before we do that, let us go through our distribution board characteristics. Okay. Let me show you the pictorial view of the DB again, once again. This is the distribution board. All right. So we are going to do the analysis. The analysis, this one now is our D12. D12 is um, 36 final sub circuit. The final breaker, total breaker here is going to be 36 pieces. There is 36 final sub circuit. All right. So let's come here. Now, D4, when you hear D4, it simply means 12 way. And that 12 way means you are going to have um, 12 final sub circuit. The entire outgoing breaker of the DB is going to be 12. So when we have D6, it's going to be 18 way. 18 way simply means 18 final sub circuit. Total breaker in that distribution board is going to be 18. So D8 simply means 24 breakers. That is 24 final circuits. Then this one D10 is 30 way, 30 final sub circuit. D12 is 36 way, 36 final sub circuit. Okay. Take note, I'm referring to the total breaker composed of the distribution board. Okay. And uh, we are trying to do what we have, we call a uh, load segregation. Load segregation simply means that each of the line, once I feed this my incoming breaker, each of the line we feed the whole of this breaker. Each line again, we feed the whole of this breaker. Each line again, we feed this. So this one and this one and this one, the total is what we refer to as the way. We will say 12 way, 24 way, or um, 14 way, and so on. All right, so that is what this. So what, what I'm going to do before we decide which of the distribution board is going to be required is when we now finish the totality of the circuit recovered on that floor. Okay, so let's start with the lighting point. Now, the entire circuit I have on that floor for the lighting system is going to be 222, 222 points. So let me segment this into circuit. How do we go? We are going to consider, remember in our previous exercise that I told you that there are some stipulated laws that we need to follow. Okay, so before then, let's see how we are going to go about the point. Each lighting point, like I told you, is going to be 100 watts. We are going to assign 100 watts for each point, lighting point. And those lighting points include lighting uh, ceiling fan, fluorescent, ceiling fitting, and the extractor, the extractor is the expeller in the toilet. So these are the lighting system points that we're going to categorize under lighting circuit. Now, we're going to start. Before we decide which category of this distribution board that is going to be used, we're going to calculate the load for each circuit. All right. So now, one is 100. Let's try 15. Let's see what we're going to get. Let's now assume that each point is going to be, uh, each circuit is going to be 15 points. All right. Let's use 15 points as a case study. So let's say 100 watts belonging for each point multiplied by 15 points. Further multiplied by a factor set aside. I told you about this factor to augment starting current of um discharge light system fluorescent system ceiling fan these are the associated lighting system that we add this factor to augment their power loss from starting so we're going to now multiply this 
the whole of them. I'm referring to this as a point for each point, as a wattage for each point. This one is the total point of the circuit that I've gotten. Then this one is a factor set aside to augment the lighting and the power loss for the switching systems. I'm going to divide them by the voltage. And this is what I got. So I divide it by 230. I want to know the total power, total current. Total current now is 11.73 amps. So this is what I have as my um, total current of the circuit. So we are going to put it here. Okay, so this is what I have as my current for the circuit. All right, so we are going to set, okay, which of the MCB size is going to take this? We are going to now use 12 amps. All right. We're going to use 12 amps because this is not a standard MCB size. This is not a standard breaker size. You cannot get this, okay, as a default breaker rating. Rather, we can get 12 amps. But 12 amps breaker is not uh, common to get. But we can get 10 amps. And we can also get 15 amps. But if we get this as a power, we cannot go and use 15 amps. 15 is far from this. But we can use 10. So when using 10 here, we're going to reduce the number of points here before we can use 10 amps. So let's say we reduce this to be uh, 13 amps. Let's say we are using 13 points. So let's put up the calculation again. So get a calculator. So let's say 100 times 13 times 1.8. We are getting this divided by 230. So we are getting 10. So we are okay. We are good to go. So we can now use 10 amps to protect that. Okay. So in that case, we can choose 13. We are using 13 point for each circuit. I don't know if you get this point. So we are getting this as our current of the circuit. We are getting this so this is the current of each circuit so uh, this one we can accept this we can use 10 amps to protect this we can ignore this because we have added 1.8 already remember that we magnify this by adding 1.8 and uh, we we are going to further drop this current because we are going to apply diversity factor by the time we apply diversity factor this current will be reduced Okay, this current will be reduced. So that is not an issue. So we can now use MCB of 10 amps to protect this circuit. So we are good to go by using 13 points in this circuit. So what we're going to do, if we are satisfied with this, so what we're going to do, we're going to divide this by 13. So get your calculator. Let us now ascertain how many circuits are we going to produce if we are going to use 13 points in one circuit. So type this, 222 two, two, divided by 13. So how many circuits are we having? So we're going to expect approximately 17 circuits. So we're going to produce 17 circuits. All right. So if you are going by that, we are going to do this. This divided by 13. So we are getting circuit, total circuit, um, total circuit to be, Let's say total circuit. All right, now we are done with our lighting load demand. The load demand for our lighting is this. We have gotten the total point to be 222. We now divided by 13 because we choose to use 13 point for each circuit. And they have um, you are aware on how we recover 13 point, how we are able to use 13 point to divide total point. So our total circuit in the floor, in that first floor, is 17 circuit. Okay, 17 circuit. Now, this 17 circuit, we are going to keep it 
and also go to our power point, our power circuit and our ring circuit. We're now going to total our ring circuit like we did here and now divided them by into circuit to know how many that we have gotten. Then from there, we are going to now decide the distribution board that is to be used. Okay, so we have gotten total circuit for lighting. So we're going to go to ring and also ascertain the total point of the ring and divide it by circuit to know how many ring circuit that we're going to get. After that, we now go for power circuit to count how many power circuit that we need before we now decide the distribution board that we're going to use. After applying, remember, we're going to also apply 25% before we decide distribution board capacity to be selected. We're going to apply 25% of whatever thing we have, whatever circuit that we have gotten. We multiply by 25% to get the distribution board uh, sizing, all right? Okay, for instance, let me give you an example for those of us that are not familiar to wiring installation. Supposing I have um, 12 circuit, I have 12 circuit for instance. For me to know the circuit, the distribution board that I'm going to use in this 12 circuit, I'm going to say 12, get your calculator, I'm going to get, I say, 12 times 1.25. So that is going to be 15. So by adding 25% to 12 circuit, the total circuit is going to be 15, no more 12. Remember, I told you that we're going to add 25% to whatever circuit we get. Before we decide the distribution board size, we're going to add 25% to your circuit so if i do that let's go again if i have total circuit of 12 i'm going to say multiply by 1.25 that's to add 25 percent to that so what i'm going to get is 15 so that is 15 circuit so if i have 15 circuit for instance after adding 25 percent i now have 15 circuit if I have total of 15 circuit, now come to your distribution board analysis. Which of these ways matches this 15? That is 18. So I'm choosing this 6 Because my circuit is 15, but here I have 18. I have gone beyond 12. The next is 18. So I'm using D6. That is 18 way. When I use 18 way, I'm now load my DB with 12 circuits, I'll be left, I have 15 circuits, I'll be left with three circuits um, extra. That three circuits plus the one I've added already, okay, the extra three, so I'm going to be left with six circuits spare in distribution board. I hope it's clear. All right, I hope it's clear. Let me come again so that I get it more clear. I got, for instance, I got 12 circuits. I'm going to add 25%. What is 25% of 12? Get your calculator. 12 divided by 100 times 25. It's going to be 3. So 